How are you doing here? Okay, back again. Got me something to eat. Feel a little bit better. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put my a, a new uh, a new uh, connector on this one that's too loose. That that's too, just too worn out. Uh, I see that it's washed out, but I can't help it. I got to be able to see. Uh, I tried even. I went through the the light settings, and it didn't make any difference. There. The automatic really makes it look, especially if I move, you know, when I move the camera around, the conditions change. So turn the light on, turn the light off. So the automatic uh, light balance, all everything, it's just not a good automatic. That's all. Uh, everything works. Automatic's the best way, unless you've got conditions that don't change. For me, so. Uh, So I'm gonna get back to work as 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 it is. Getting the crimper, the cutters. Let's see. Oh, the magnifying glass. Need that. All right. Now, gonna do it from this side or from this side? Let's see. I think when I go around to this side, I re yeah, I gotta end up reaching too far. I would, well, like this bar here, you know, that holds it together, of course it's necessary, it, uh, I don't need to carry the tools that are right here where I can reach them, so, uh, I think I can get to it from here, yeah. I want to take a look at it before I cut it, and get it where I can see it. Well, I guess I might be able to do that, that's what, yeah. Only thing is, when I'm on the other side, I can reach to work with that there. When I'm on this side, I can't get in there to work. Because i got to get both hands in there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut this off right at the... There's nothing wrong with the wire. It's uh, I can tell this was done by the factory. It's... Uh, um. been stripped back like it's still you know it's like a good inch where it was just stripped and you know I guess they they that was that is better in this high heat situation than having it melt uh, that's the only one they did it on they're just on this jumper wire so I don't know why they do that but it's so perfectly stripped and you know it, it didn't burn off or anything like that so uh I'm going to, this time I'm going to go ahead and put it in the crimper like I ended up doing last time. And uh, let's see, it was the second one that seemed to fit just right. Okay. Now, if I can get that in there, we'll be good. There you go. <clears throat> you do need to squeeze real good on these to get a good crimp with that thing. Oh yeah. These crimp really nice. <clears throat> okay, yeah, that's what noise you make when you're you that's how you test it. Yeah. I don't think I will mess with it anymore. I do need to get my what to do with them. Get my needle nose to shove it on down with. Well, that was way easier than the first time I did that. Yeah. Now, these are just fine. Nothing wrong with these other two, so I'm not going to do them. They look good. Well, they didn't ever overheat. See, that's on the heating element, and that end did overheat. Rest hasn't overheated, so yeah, that's fine. Cause that, see, this cuts the, the circuit off if it gets too hot. So uh, that is so close to fitting in that hole. If I could just get that to move, oh, that other one would probably go back in the hole. It just needs to move. Let's see. I just don't want them. 
mess anything up, you know, trying to move this. Go around here. Let's see. Oh, good so you gotta be careful with this these pliers here these uh these craftsman pliers they have the sharpest they're good for grabbing things but they have the sharpest little points right there you start grabbing on the wires with them if you get that on there it'll cut right through the insulation i kind of don't want to do that so i think i'll use the needle nose try to do one try to slide one wire at a time in a little bit and see if i can do that might need another pair of needle nose I think I have another pair. Let me run over there and see if I can. Pretty sure I have another pair over there. I know I have two more in the house, but I think I got another one over here. Well, I got needle nose vice grips. I may not have another pair in that toolbox. I, I ended up, I have another pair. Of, oh, they're just like these. Only they're a little bit smaller, Craftsman, and then I have these needle nose. So one of these I'll grab onto the wire with. I guess the ones that are just want to overdo it. Yeah. And then see if I can. No. I'm going to end up tearing that insulation off of there. I want to do that. Where's my light? Well, you know, after just looking looking at that more from this side, I see that that actually pulls them closer to this other open, you know, live, will be live circuit. So, yeah, they're not going to, the way they're wrapped so tight, they're not going to drop down onto that. I can put that one back and it's, I leave it in there tight. If I cut, if, if I cut that, I don't have anything to replace it with that could stand the heat. So, and actually pulling it back now, especially since they're shorter, pulling it back to the back of the dryer is actually not where you want them. So, where I, where I want them. There we go. Okay, wired up. Feel better about it now. I'm not worried about it. Okay, uh, I have another drink. All I did was just eat me a TV dinner. Probably took 20, 30 minutes. Probably 30 minutes. I was pretty slow about getting my food. I thought I was going to collapse before I got my food. Not collapse, but I was just feeling worse and worse. Diabetes sucks, man. Uh, okay. Uh, so you could probably kind of see the general area a lot better now. I can't see a thing with that light on. It blinds me like that. But I can't see to do that stuff without it. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel pretty good about it working. I mean, it started heating up, and I heard it and shut it off because I want to you know, damage those things. And uh, it wouldn't heat, you know, it wasn't coming on at all. Well, obviously it wasn't coming on at all because the, the uh, heat element was missing from about there to there. So, uh, oh, that's a ground. Okay, what's the next thing? Okay, the next thing is the the drum thing right let's see I'm gonna do that and it would act, and I could actually put it back together well I may put it back together and run it a little bit um, I don't know well I didn't want to put the drum all back well I can no I can put the drum all back in it I can even put the belt on it it won't affect me replacing even if I put the door on it I can take it back you know I can I would have to to run the, the drum you have to have the door to support it, but uh, I want to. I really, really want to finish it today if I don't wear out, because getting back to stuff is just, you know, if it's still working, you'll just. I'll just never do it because I feel bad all the time anyway, and it just seems it. It's uh, always a deterrent to getting things done, but uh, okay. Yeah, I gotta move. What do I gotta move? 
Okay, two, uh, two parts. These are all my parts. Oh yeah, those. Oh yeah, those three screws. This I want this, and I'll get the get the constructions out. In case I want to. In case I want to break down and use them. No, I'm using them on this thing. I want to make sure I get it right. And I'm glad I looked at them all ago because the uh, boxes. I don't really have good places to set stuff. But it's blocking my light, my precious light. So I need to. I need to get to the drum. Oh well, I'm not going to really stay over here. I'm going to go over there and work on the drum, and I'll turn the camera around there. I think I'll preview the. That's why I was wanting wanting the box out of the way. So this and the screws are in here I'm pretty sure that's what these three screws are they're in this envelope and then that grease I won't be needing that on here let's see I think they may come yeah they come through these are Phillips heads okay. got that I've got my Phillips head over here Where are you First time I've needed it on this. <laughs> you always, I, I was saying, you always need a Phillips head, and I didn't use it the other day at all on this dryer. These things are not, either my Phillips, my magnetism is wearing off on my screwdriver, or, boy, they don't want to go in there. But I do, I do believe that's. Uh, I guess that's how they stay, because they, they really thread in there. They're they're self lockers too. I'll try to show them to you, and I'll drop them. So I'm not going to do it. Uh, I may drive those with that impact if necessary. No, I probably will if they're that tight. Okay, now. Yeah. Okay. Instructions for that. Let's see. Let's just start at the start on the first page, but which may be the, actually the last page. <laughs> okay. There's a bunch of instructions about replacing the felt. Yeah, I think I will. Let's see, yeah, I can put it together and test it, and then all I'd have to do is take two screws out of the front door to get it off to replace the fill. That's right. I was thinking I would have to, well, you do have to raise the lid, but yeah, I wouldn't have to take the drum out to, I was thinking that I was, you know, if I don't get it today, I'd have to take the drum out to get the, to do the felt. But all I had to do is open the lid, take the front off to do the felt. That's not as bad as I thought. I still want to do it, but. So yeah, I'll put it all together for running and test it, because that's more important than the felt right now is to make sure it's going to work. I'll, with the drum in there, I can run it for a little while, burn the oil off the heating element, because that stunk bad. Make sure that that doesn't happen with somebody's clothes in there, like mine, <laughs> for instance. Just for instance, you know. Not that I don't care about everybody else's, but uh, are we working? Are we working? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I wanna. I gotta put this on there. I wanna put that on there before I get the drum in there. So I think I'll do that now before I forget again. I can get. I can, should be able to get to it from the top right now. I'm still looking for the part about putting the knob on the on the drum. I mean, it's three screws, but I just wanted to make sure there wasn't any. Tr tricks that I was going to miss. What is all that? Oh, it's talking about the felt. There else, it's, it's the most out of order instructions I think I've ever seen. So here's the part about the trailer hitch ball after installing it. 
Well, I, I've done I've done it before. Make sure when I put the belt on, I get it in the right order. I don't see a picture of the uh, belt being in the right order. Here it is. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So. Uh, Put that back in here for now. Okay. Where's my, oh, my pulley? It's in here. Well, I'm just going to sit. No. I got to. Uh, I got to get to. Get to the whole bag again. Uh, grease. Already. Yeah, I still have an old worn out. I'll show you this, show you what they do when they wear out. So here's a carrier bushing that's worn out. Let's see. Okay, it normally sits like this. And, uh, well, this one still had, I don't know, it normally sits like that, yeah. So it, uh, okay, I'm crazy. There we go. Uh, that's supposed to be solid under there. That's not supposed to be. So what it does is it falls all the way out of there. It's only got some, some con, you know, something to it to the right and the left. Uh, I saved it in case I had to try to, you know, uh, fix that up. Oh, and here's oh well this this does hold it. This is why what they're squealing on. Uh, is when it gets down there and starts rubbing on that bracket. So this is one that came out the last time before. This is the one that came out and then I made my own because it was going to be about a week to get the parts. Yeah, I got some lubricant and I think there's some glue in there too. So uh, that glue's probably dried up. That's been year, several years now. But uh, I guess I'll put this new lubricant in here with this stuff. That way it won't get squished and everything I was kind of not doing it because I <coughs> wanted to have uh, no is there a spring in there no I don't think there was a spring yeah but I'm gonna put this on because the other one looks kind of old and rusty and you know I this uh this this here may wear out for I don't I haven't messed with it so I don't know that it's worn or is or isn't worn right now but yeah our new belt which we will need when I set the drum in there but yeah this whole felt kit can be put on the door even without pulling the drum back out again that's what I was thinking is I don't want to pull that drum back out again you know I want to get it done but I still want to get it done but now I'm not as <coughs> desperate <coughs> <coughs> Trash. <coughs> uh. Okay. Let's see. Uh. Put these back in here for now. Uh. Okay, I was just looking at this other one on the drum. It, yeah, the screws. You, you reach into the drum to run those screws in there. Okay. And not putting the belt on now. I'm just just going to try and get that. I figured I'd need that light. Okay. I think maybe if I hang it yeah, on this side. Point him down. Yeah, like that. Maybe it'll stay. And, uh, get a few tools. I think I'm going to have to get my chair. Uh, 
See if I can. I don't, my chair don't even want to go over there. I must have shoved this around some more. Nope, it won't make it. But I can't squat like that, so it's going to have to. Oh, I can. Let's see, how is that neat? I probably haven't moved from where I had it before. Let's see. Oh, I think I can do it from right here, standing up. I don't think it's as... Oh, there's a... No, you don't have to unbolt anything. Okay, so... Uh, let's put these tools in the pocket. Because if they're over there, I can't get a hold of them now, can I? Okay. Starting to see a plan... These baby vi these needle nose vice grips can get a hold of that spring and I won't and it won't let go until I'm ready for it to let go. Which side is the open side? Okay. Oh, dropping stuff. Left and right. Good. Now, let's see what we can do here. I can't see where the... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, get this tension off the spring. Then you can get it off of here. Can't see the opening side is a problem though. Oh, there it is. It came off. It came off from the bottom first, of course. So, uh, yeah, you didn't need to work on it under pressure anyway. I'll have to get probably. I wish that wouldn't have came off because now I'll have to get down, probably go through the back to find that hole. It wasn't. Uh, wasn't really being smart. That just sits on there. And that spring is what holds it. Okay. And I forgot to even re-aim the camera. At all. We're supposed to be down there now. In that general area. There's not, not really a good way for me to show it anyway. So. Uh... I think I'm going to have to put the lid like that. I'm going to have to... I don't think there's... I can't even see where the hole is from up here. So as much as I don't like this, like it, I'm going to have to get down there in the floor. And I'm going to have to make more room for me to get down there in the floor. So Yeah, that's about right. So you're not going to... You couldn't see it even if I moved the camera around a whole bunch, so... <sighs> couldn't see what I was doing. I'm going to be down here somewhere. I'm always confused about which end is... Okay, yeah, that end. This is where I'm going to have to be. And I better get the magnifying glass. Well, I better take it with me, but if it's in my pocket and I'm laying on it, I might break it. Let's see, where's those? Yeah, the screwdrivers can stay, I think. <gasps> oh, at least I have light. <sighs> oh, somebody's going to have to help me out. Oh! But there ain't nobody to do it. Okay, so... Oh, I thought the camera, I was just sitting still.